Well, with revenues down, will state spending go down with it? Good evening. I'm Corinne Rose in for Melissa Long. Jeff Newmeyer has more on what Indiana lawmakers see happening to the budget, specifically education funding, because money isn't rolling in as fast as anticipated. It's a phrase that no state legislator wants to hear. Revenue projections are off. For the first eight months of fiscal year 2015, revenues down 1%, which amounts to a $91 million shortfall. Senate budget architect Luke Kenley says some restraints on spending might be in order. The House passed a two-year budget calling for K-12 funding statewide to go up by nearly $470 million. That might be shrunk a little bit, although I, um, there's a big push from, from both the House and the Senate to uh, fund uh, K-12 through education as liberally as we can. About a dozen lawmakers turned out for a forum at Sweetwater Sound to take questions from business leaders and others about the current legislative session. David Ober says we might be jumping the gun on the revenue projection shortfall. The real numbers that will matter are the uh, April forecast numbers, so uh, we've got some time yet. One target for a cut, getting rid of a House proposal to create a $200 tax credit for teachers who spend their own money on classroom supplies. I was a teacher for 17 years, and uh, it, it's definitely a need. A lot of people don't realize, you know, that uh, teachers do a lot out of their pocket. Even if the House's allocation for education stays firm, there's still plenty of debate about how school funding gets spread around. School funding formula changes figured to direct more money to suburban districts at the expense of urban districts like Fort Wayne Community Schools. That's troubling to the superintendent of Southwest Allen. It still appears as though they're creating a system of winners and losers that doesn't make any sense to us. The vouchers are uncapped now, so that's really getting up there in expense. And, and so, yeah, so it's, there's just um, uh, a lot of expenses today that we didn't have in the past. Kenley said the Senate budget will reflect his goals to push the state to spend less on student testing and more on career and technical education, something Governor Pence has placed a focus on. Jeff Newmeyer, 21 Alive.